Hi, I'm Elle and I'm a digital artist. If you're already a subscriber to my channel, welcome back, it's lovely to see you here again. So, I had someone ask me last week if I had any tips on how they could move away from line art, and I thought that might make for an interesting video. My relationship with line art could somewhat be described as a love-hate relationship, where I absolutely love and appreciate looking at very well done line art, but kind of hate and avoid having to draw it myself. Now, if you personally love drawing line art and it's an integral part of your style, then this video might not be for you. But if you're like I was when I still did line art and it isn't a part of the process that you particularly enjoy, or you just want to try out a more painterly style, then hopefully you might find something in this video that'll inspire you to go lineless. Now, just a quick disclaimer here. These reasons that I'm about to talk about for going lineless are entirely based on my own personal tastes, thoughts and journey. I'm by no means a master artist and whilst I have tried my best to articulate myself to the best of my ability, I can recognise that I still have a lot of growth to make and learning to do on my art journey. The purpose of this video isn't to try and deter anybody from doing line art. In fact, if you're a beginner artist, I highly suggest that you start out with line art. Um, it forces you to be a lot clearer with your sketch and more decisive with the ideas about what you want to draw. Now, on to the video. So the first thing that I recommend is figuring out the reasons why you want to ditch line art. For me, it was a matter of looking at my art and seeing that my line art skills were lagging far behind my other skills, such as my knowledge of anatomy or my rendering skills and sketching skills. Line art is a skill that requires time to study and master. Your knowledge and skill at doing line art can be a very different level to your rendering skills or your knowledge of anatomy or any other part of the artistic process. And so if line art isn't something that you enjoy and you're not making any progress in your skill at getting better at it, then maybe it's time to try going without it. And that's the conclusion that I came to and I'm very happy that I did. And that's because when you don't enjoy something, it shows through. Um, you're probably not spending more time improving on it, it can be a bit sloppy because you've tried to rush through it, and overall I think it's good to try and find alternatives to doing that thing. Um, as a new artist, I thought I had to do line up, that that was the only way to do it, but it's not true, and once I ditched the part of the process that I really didn't like, I actually started to like my own art a lot more. And that's because I was starting to identify the parts of the artistic process that I didn't like and turn them into things that I did like. And that leads me into my first tip about moving away from line art, and that is thinking about shape. And thinking about the shapes of anatomy and objects as more than just their outline. And what I mean by this is if you'd asked me two years ago to make a rectangle, I probably would have done something more like this. Whereas now, if you ask me to do the same thing, um, my process would be a bit different. I would likely just make my brush bigger and block in the shape like this. Changing my way of thinking about shape has really helped speed up the process when I just want to quickly block something in to try it out or have to redraw an arm or a leg. Neither approach is better than the other. In fact, it's really good to be able to understand both approaches, being able to consider the outline of a shape and also consider it as a solid object. And it's good to have an understanding of both, so you can use both depending on the situation. For instance, I like to draw the outlines in my sketches. Um, it still helps me figure out the composition and the rough pose. And then later on, I might opt to just start painting in shapes, such as hands, legs, arms, if I want to change it. Um, hair is another one that I prefer to just paint it in rather than sticking to a sketch or an outline. So my advice is to practice making your brush bigger and painting in bigger, blockier shapes. It'll really help you to get that sort of more painterly look and help you transition out of line art a lot easier. And the other main thing that I really think is beneficial to practice while you're transitioning out of line art is to practice dividing things with colour and value. Line art does a really good job of being able to separate different elements from each other and what I mean by that is Let's just say you're drawing a head and a neck. If you draw the line art between where the chin is and the neck starts, you don't really have to add too much detail to be able to make it readable, to be able to see that there is a chin there and a neck and they are not one solid object. But if you're not doing line art, it can make it a little bit trickier to make those things visible and look separate. So two things to really focus on on helping with that is to Pay attention to colour and light and dark values. 
So using our previous example, if I wanted to draw a head and a neck, I could make the neck a different colour, maybe they're wearing a turtleneck or a jumper or a sweater, or I could change the value of the neck and make it darker, like it's being cast in shadow. So to summarise, my two top tips for being able to move away from line art is to start thinking about shape as more than just an outline, and to start dividing different elements and parts of anatomy and clothing with colour and value. And even if you do decide to keep line art as a part of your artistic process, being able to think about shape as more than just an outline or being able to divide your art into different colours and values kind of helps you become a better artist overall regardless of whether you use line art or not. Now, I'm going to be taking a short hiatus from YouTube for a couple of weeks just to try and get a backlog of videos that I can post instead of trying to scramble every week to get one up. I still am going to be streaming over on Twitch though, so if you want to find out when that is, I have my schedule up over there. I'm going to be doing an art challenge soon where I paint on one layer without any sketch lines, so if you want to see the whole process for that, it will be streamed on Twitch. It'd be lovely to have you in the chat. Um, Thank you for watching, and until next time, whenever that is, bye!